Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different. On the workbench, I've got this HackRF1 software defined radio with portback H2. Instead of doing a review, I'm actually going to try to see if I can fix it. What's wrong with it? Well, you see that I'm actually tuned in to a broadcast FM station, and the volume is at a maximum. As you can see here, the volume is at 99. But there is no sound coming out from the speaker on the back here. So we do have a speaker here, but you can see that there's nothing coming out. And I had tested with a headset before as well, but there was no sound either. I'm actually not entirely sure what was going on with this SDR. I guess I'll have to open it up and take a closer look. As without the audio output, the SDR would not be that useful. Without further ado, let's open it up. All right, it was fairly easy to open it up. And you can see here, we essentially have two boards. They are stacked together. On the left side, that's the HackRF1 main board. And it was fairly recent. You can see that it was made October 30th, 2022. And that's the SDR main board. On the right hand side here, that's the port back. And you can see we have these headers connected to the main board. So I actually won't be able to operate the radio with these two boards separated, which is a pain, but we'll see what we can do here. Anyway, so you can see we do have this wire coming here. That's a speaker and this is the power. At a first glance, I think we've already got an issue here. You can see here is the headphone jack coming out and it's this connector here. And if I just wiggle it, you can see that not sure how well it shows up on camera, but oh, it's actually, yeah, you can see that clearly it was not properly connected or it was connected, but somehow it came off. So clearly that was not supposed to be the case. Now, unfortunately the battery is right here, so I can't really do the repair with battery this close to the socket. So I will have to try to take this off first. I'll be right back. All right, now I just disconnected the board and also I took the battery out, you can see here, and we can probably see this area a little bit better. Let me just zoom it in. So here is the audio amplifier chip. That's an LTK8002D. Now the circuit diagram you can see is not that complicated and output can be used to drive the speaker output directly. Of course, in our situation, there's a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that switches between the speaker and headset, depends on whether or not a headphone is plugged in. So here's the situation we're looking at. If you take a look at the audio jack, it actually it's not really soldered in. You can see I can pry it off very easily. You can see that unfortunately, the pads are completely lifted off. Now, it's really a puzzle how this headphone jack got dislodged at the first place. One possibility is vibration as the jack does stick out through the metal plate on the side. And if the traces are too thin, you risk the traces being lifted off the board when force is applied to the jack. Anyway, it could be that I was just unlucky. This is just a one-off case. Now, unfortunately, the portaback PCB is a four-layer board. So looking at the audio jack, it appears at least some of the traces are actually going through inner layer. As you can see that we don't see any obvious traces on either side of the board. And there are some vias going through here. So I'm afraid some of the traces are actually going through the inner layer and we're not able to fix this without knowing the exact circuit layout. I think at the moment, the best we can do is probably try to solder this jack back. At least we still have a few contacts here and uh, it can't make it any worse. Unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, this is a four layer board. So any inner trace that if there's any issue, we won't be able to fix it easily. So at least let's give it a try here. So I'm going to put it back and let's uh, give it a go here. And it's a little bit hard to see, so I apologize if it doesn't quite show up on the screen here because I just concentrated on soldering here. I 
And unfortunately, the pad on this rear channel is gone and probably will only be able to get one channel working. I don't know yet. Let's uh, get a closer look here. And this is the last one we have control over. This one I don't think we have any control over anymore because the iPad is gone here. Okay, so let me reassemble it and take a look at what we got here. All right, now I put it back as you can see that we are tuned to a channel and we still don't have any sound coming out of the speaker. But if I plug in the headset, you will see here, let me just plug it in. And now we do have sound coming out from the headset now. So I would call this repair a partial success as we are able to at least restore it to some degree. Anyway, that is all I want to cover in this short video. If you liked the video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I will catch up to you next time.